Greetings. So my name is Michael Tregilio, and I'm a visual arts faculty member here at UC San Diego. And the CSRO project I began uh, at the end of the fall quarter and around November is called the Socially Engaged Speculative Media Initiative. And this is a project where we're working with students, community members, neighbors, and collaborators at CalIT2 to think about how we might use the cutting edge, bleeding edge visualization and virtual reality environments here at CalIT2 to think about what ways we might represent ourselves to an unknown future, a future in 100 years, 1,000 years, 4,000 years. I'm working with Cali 2 collaborators like Trish Stone, who's been an indispensable collaborator in this project, helping uh, not only helping us get the technology uh, working, but also making works as an artist herself for the project. Joe Keefe, working with us in the room display space you saw in the theater. Kathy Hughes, a programmer who's been indispensable as well in thinking about the next cave environment and how we might integrate LIDAR data, next cave, um, pardon me, cave cam, panoramic photography, and other materials, and Masahiko Kitamura from NTT, who's worked with us in 4K. UCSD students have been involved in the project since the winter quarter, making works in collaboration with each other and with myself and with Trish Stone. And through CEC Arts Link and the University of New Mexico, we're bringing some visitors during uh, finals week, which is uh, in about three weeks, to come visit from the University of New Mexico to be working with our students and their students, artists from the Ukraine named Denis Kolokol, all working together to think about making media for Cal IT2's visualization systems. You can see in this slide, the kinds of material we're making. This project is called, uh, the first project we're doing is called Tell Them Everything, Remember Us. Recently, theoretical physicist uh, Freeman Dyson spoke during the Starship Century Conference, which also happened here uh, as part of the Arthur C. Clarke Center beginnings. And he spoke about the possibility for intergalactic travel for humanity being something in which humans might be simply sent as seeds, as embryos, frozen, sent to their destination on a 3,000 or 4,000 year long journey. And once they arrive at their destination, they are raised and simply transmitted information about what it means to be human. On the physics and engineering side, that certainly is an interesting uh, exercise. I'm interested in what do we transmit? What do we send them? What do we want to say about ourselves to an unknown species, an unknown self in 4,000 years, our heirs, um, another dimension, right? There's a kind of contrast between, or a kind of combination perhaps, between Jonathan Swift and Carl Sagan, a kind of satire, science fiction, and science coming together in my ideation of the project. And we see this work um, resulting in, so far, in about five months of production, two 4K films, original content, two more 4K films in pre-production, four LiDAR performances, point cloud performances, using the LiDAR scans here at CalIT2, uh, five new stereo panorama performances, uh, in which students are making work. You can see an, an image of the production of the 4K production here, as well as uh, nine original megapixel, pardon me, I just got the sign, nine 64 megapixel ultra high resolution visualizations in the room space next door. All of this work has been generated with original sound design, 3D or stereo videography, which is now being incorporated for the first time ever in the next cave with sound and video working with LiDAR, working with the panoramic uh, views. If you want to know more about the project, you can find us online. We're asking for participants to, to work with us as socially engaged participants to think about how we might express ourselves through Twitter, through Facebook, through email. What do you think is worth remembering in 4,000 years? What we're doing is through works like you see above, poeticizing, visualizing, thinking abstractly, thinking concretely, at times thinking kind of wildly about how we might represent ourselves and what forms those might take, whether they be visual, sonic, linguistic, design-driven. Thank you.